What to Play presents 10 fighting games that are coming out this year and beyond, all arranged by release dates. To check out our full list, visit our website at whattoplay.com. You can also take part in our rankings by leaving reviews of the games that you played. A cornerstone of the fighting game genre with over 20 years of history and many tournaments worldwide, the Guilty Gear series. Guilty Gear Strive. Arc System Works' seventh mainline Guilty Gear entry might be their best yet. Strive's newly implemented rollback netcode can finally give players a smoother fighting experience. It's still in its open beta phase, so you can participate in its development to check for issues. In Strive, the rules are the same. Use a wide variety of mix-ups and setups against your opponent. Once that health bar reaches zero, it's game over. But you know Guilty Gear is more than just pressing buttons and hoping they die. Learn to cancel attacks with its myriad of techniques that help you in a pinch. It's fast-paced and it requires months and months of training to understand each of its unique characters, which range from badass to downright eccentric. Coming this 11th of June for the PC, PS4, and PS5. Metal Revolution Dubbed as the new generation of fighting games, this cyberpunk-themed fighter from Next Studios takes us to a neon-soaked city bustling with metallic mayhem. What separates Metal Revolution from most of these titles is its simplicity. It's not aiming for complex button inputs that require a gazillion hours of training. It's a game where you press a button and your character does cool shit. But that doesn't mean it's not complex. Think of it as Smash, as it involves perfect parries and contextual movesets. It's slated to come out in June 2021 for the PC. The King of Fighters 15. Speaking of redemption arcs, it's good to finally see SNK coming out of their shell with their new and improved King of Fighters series. With 15, expect even better visuals now that the game uses Unreal Engine 4. Plus, they're finally working on that rollback netcode that players have been rallying their asses off for since forever. Meet new and familiar faces in this upcoming entry, especially the old school characters that were present two decades ago. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding its roster and new mechanics, and it's considered by the devs as their most ambitious KOF yet. Who knows what kind of surprises they have in store for us. It's coming sometime this year, but no platforms are officially announced. Die by the Blade Learn the ways of the samurai in this one vs one fighting game from Triple Hill Interactive and Toko Midori Games. Master the blade and brutalize your enemies with your sword fighting prowess. Die by the Blade's realistic combat is inspired by none other than the legendary Bushido Blade, so time those parries right, otherwise you'd be dead in a second in this samurai punk world. It's the kind of game where it's easy to look at, but difficult when you're actually pushing the buttons. Its complex mechanics rely not on its wide cast of characters, but with the weapons and how one wields it. It's coming to the PC, PS4, and Xbox One sometime this year. Melty Blood Type Lumina Based on Type Moon's visual romance novel Tsukihime, this classic 2D fighting game is making its way to the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One this year under a new name. Type Lumina introduces a cast of over 10 major characters with improved visuals far from their 2002 look. New HD environments and upgraded battle systems might make this the best version of Melty Blood ever. Now your sets and public bathroom stalls feel a bit more premium. It's not as complicated as the other games here, but it still requires players to learn and understand its mechanics, especially now with its updated combat. The fire in your heart is burning! Round one, fight! Phantom Breaker Omnia. Another classic that's making its way to the modern consoles, Omnia is a huge upgrade from its previous versions, notably Extra. It still features all the same characters, but adds two new ones, alongside a fantastic remix soundtrack and gameplay adjustments. Omnia's defining new feature is in its new fighting style called Omnia. If you're new to the series, Phantom Breaker's charm is in its adjustable combat styles. You can select between these styles depending on your preference, and it's easy to learn but difficult to master. This expanded version of the Phantom Breaker game is coming out sometime this year. Project L 
Riot's pumping out multiple titles in varying genres recently, with Valorant taking over the FPS scene and an ambitious MMO coming soon. What's stopping them from making a fighting game too? It's more likely than you think as Riot acquired Radiant Entertainment, who are working on a game called Rising Thunder, and from what we saw, Project L seems heavily inspired by it. It's based in the world of Runeterra, but that's pretty much what we know about the game right now. We might see some of our favorite characters duke it out in epic fighting game action. This is also Riot's first game of this caliber, so it might take some time before we get our hands on this one. The game is still early in development, so don't expect a beta this year. Hellish Quart This physics-based 3D game from Kubald is all about dueling in the 17th century. Using physical sword fighting against active ragdolls, expect goofy animation and some realistic knockouts here. Using its four-button combat, make calculated strikes against your opponent. Alright, that was easy. You can select from a wide variety of weapons, ranging from sabers, rapiers, broadswords, and more. It's still on Steam's early access, so expect some minor hiccups when playing with friends in its local multiplayer. Unfortunately, there is no actual online play yet, just Steam's remote play feature. No full release date yet. King of the Hat This 2D fighting game from Business Core Incorporated is all about characters throwing hats at each other. Yeah, we've gone from realistic sword combat, netcode changes, and classic anime fighters to this. Play with up to four friends in local or online multiplayer. Use your hat as a weapon to take down your opponents, but don't let them crush yours. Its hilarity knows no bounds as the game even lets you play as a washing machine. With a varied selection of characters, each with their unique hats, this 2D fighter might be the best one on the list. No release date yet. Street Fighter 6 Capcom's impressive rollout of games recently has given us hope that they might finally give their Street Fighter franchise a chance at redemption. Just a heads up, this is in no way a confirmed game. So no announcements, no news, nada. We're banking on the recent leak that discussed a certain Capcom 6 on their papers. What that Capcom 6 may be, we do not know. But the internet sure loves speculating and they can only wish that it's finally the Street Fighter game they've been waiting for. Of course, at the end of the day, it's just a rumor. But one can dream. No release date yet, obviously.